Hi Vibers, welcome back to another pick a card reading. Today we will be looking at what kind of energy and vibe do you give off to other people. And so take a moment to take in these three piles and see which one is calling out to you. And then go ahead and look down below and jump to your pile that you want to pick. Hi Pile 1, so we're starting off with your overall vibe. So this is the vibe that you, this is like your most, the most um, powerful kind of energy that you give off that people receive from you. So um, Jane Austen. So if you chose Jane Austen, the kind of vibe that you give off overall is somebody that's independent and you're not afraid to say what you want to say. You're a very strong person, but you're very subtle about it. You know, you don't brag about it. You don't... It's like you don't even have to say about it. Your energy and your vibe itself is very strong that you don't have to say anything at all. You also give off the vibe of somebody that's very smart. Um, you always know what to say. You're very uh, good with your words. So overall, your overall vibe is you give off the vibe that you're somebody that's strong and you don't really have to say much about it. Like, it's like your work, whatever you do for work or like whatever you do, it speaks for itself. You don't have to say anything. So you could be somebody that's very quiet, like you don't say much, but your energy, it's like you let your energy speak for for you, which is really cool. But when you do speak up and say something, it's like, it's very powerful and meaningful. You don't just, yeah, I get the vibe that you don't just talk just for this, uh, just for the sake of like, filling up the, the silence in the room or something, or the awkward, si awkward silence. It's like, you only talk when you need to say something. So whenever you do say something, it's very important. It's meaningful. It adds something to the conversation. So overall, the vibe that you give off is somebody that's quiet, but very strong, confident, and independent. All right, so now we're going to take a look at attractive qualities about your vibe. Like, what draws you in? What what about your vibe draws people in to you? You have a very light and humorous way about your vibe. Like, you're very carefree. And you kind of, like... When mistakes happen or when things go wrong, like... You hit a bump in the road or anything. You kind of just laugh it off and, like... Oh, well, you know, you just deal with it and it's, like... It's nothing to you. So you kind of just brush things off. You take... Um stumbles in life very lightly like it doesn't really um phase you that much um so because of this it draws people in because it's like you know usually when people get into tough situations or they hit a roadblock or anything like that it stresses them out and makes them upset sad whatever you know it puts them in like a negative kind of headspace but with because your vibe is so light and humorous at times like that, they they love being around you because they know like even if things go wrong, you you know what to say or you know what to do to just pick up the energy again and like, you know, yeah, that sucks that we're in this situation, but hey, like we can get through it. You guys just laugh it off and like, you know, move past it. Another attractive thing about your vibe, I think these two go together very well, um, 
So I think another reason why you're like very um, just light and humorous when it comes to difficult situations is because you've been through a lot and you've like overcome a lot. So it's like you've gone through so much, so many things that are a lot harder. So when you come to any situation, whether it be hard or easy, it's just it's nothing to you because it's like you've been through harder things so it's you can easily persevere through it because that's why it's so you know you just take it so lightly like oh well you know that sucks but we'll get through it it's because it's like um i've been through worse worse stuff before so like these little i'm getting like i don't know why when i'm talking about the situation i'm getting like the situation of like getting like um car problems on the side of the road like a flat tire or something like that like i oh, i hate car problems and like i'm sure a lot of people hate car problems but like that stuff like that stresses people out especially if you don't have a spare or you don't you're not um you know you're, you're just not prepared if you're not prepared for situations like that if you don't have like a insurance to call like towing or whatever it's it's a difficult situation to be in and stressful so but to you it's like um i've been through worse so i can get through this through like little things like that in life um and because you so that just adds up like it keeps going back to like these are like things that make you like that's why you come off as such a strong person such a confident person but you're quiet about it so it's like people people don't know how strong and confident you are you really are like you give off that vibe but they don't really know like for sure for sure they can't confirm that until they spend time with you and get to know you then they're like damn okay then that just confirms the vibe that you were giving off um and because you come off so confident and strong but you're quiet about it and you're just kind of very like it's like you know you know i feel like you know you give off this vibe or like and i feel like you're watching this just as a confirmation like okay yeah i do give off this kind of vibe to people but like i feel like you're just somebody that's very sure of themselves and you know you give off this kind of vibe yeah you're just very sure of yourself and because you give off such like a strong confident vibe it makes other people insecure that are not so confident and not so sure of themselves that it makes them envious of you and your vibe so yeah so <laughs> not only are you like somebody that's confident and strong but you're you know you got people bothered out here in the streets because it's like because how strong and confident you are and because you don't it's like because you're confident strong and you're quiet it's the fact that you're quiet about it and it's real i like i get the feeling that you guys are humble about it but i i also get the feeling like it, it's like you being strong and confident and overcoming and you know all of this all you, you you know you have a good vibe but you don't it's not you don't make it a big deal that's what i'm trying to say and like you don't make it a focus like yeah i know it's like you know you're the shit but you just don't say it and it, like it's not like a main focus for you because you already know so it's like why focus on that so because you're like quiet about it you have this quiet confidence it makes it like that makes people even more annoyed and jealous of you Hey, but that's not your issue. You know, you're just doing you. You're confident. All right, so your vibe is also very chill and stable. Very grounded. Um, like I said, when things are, like, chaotic, like, there's a chaotic situation. If you're in the situation, you, like, hold everything together. You, like, ground everyone in, like, okay, listen, everybody calm down chill out everything is gonna be okay we're gonna do this this and this it's gonna be fine like you you are that anchor like that's needed when things are like 
just all over the place. So your vibe very like your vibe is very helpful in chaotic situations to focus everybody else's energy in the group. I'm getting like loner vibes from you, like, and I'm smiling when I say that because I. <laughs> I'm kind of a loner myself. Like, you like to, yeah, like, you like to, um, spend time with your family, friends, um, and go out and stuff like that, but you cherish your, your me time, like, your time for yourself, you very, like, you need that, and because it's like, it's like, um, because you it's like you, when you're around people you give a lot of your energy to them like you're very helpful you're very helpful to the people around you um energetically and physically emotionally all of that like you're just a very very helpful person and giving and so because of that like you need time for yourself to focus your own energy and vibe like yeah i feel like that's what will throw you off your vibe and your energy is like if you don't get get time to just isolate yourself from everyone and everything and just do whatever it is that you need to do to focus yourself and your your vibe it's gonna drive you like nuts like <laughs> it's gonna yeah it's gonna just throw your vibe off and it's gonna yeah not gonna be good um your vibe is very attractive to people like pe a lot of people get attractive to your vibe even if like even if you're around strangers and like i'm seeing like the the image I'm, like, playing in my head when I'm talking about this is, like, I see you walking into a party, like, and you don't know, well, you're walking to the party, like, with your friends, like, a group of your friends, but none of you guys know, or, like, you don't know. You don't know anybody that's at the party. So you're just, like, you know, you're looking around and, like, you're, like, you just walking in just draws so much your energy and vibe just draws so much atten attention to you when you walk in. Like, you're, that's how strong your energy is and your vibe is. And it's like, without you even talking, um, doing anything, you're just, like, walking through the room. Like, you're just, really, you're just feeling out the vibe. You just got there, basically. It's like, you just got there and people are, like, get attracted to you like that. Like, instantly. Because of how awesome your vibe is and how strong your vibe is um and it's like that's like i kind of get the feeling like it's like right when you walk into the party or like right when you make your entrance anywhere it's known it's like you it's like your energy demands attention on you when you walk in um and it's i don't think you do that on purpose it's just that's the your that's how strong your vibe is like it's just <laughs> It's just a natural thing that you're, you give off. Um, I kind of get the feeling like you don't like the attention. Like, you get a lot of a lot of attention, but you don't like it. And I think that's why a lot of times, well, besides of like feeling drained, um, of your own energy from being around a lot of people a lot of time, that's why you go into hermit mode and you retreat. Um... But also, it's because you don't really like having, like, you don't like being the center of attention. It just naturally happens to you because your energy is so high and your vibe is so amazing. So it's like, it just happens naturally, but it's like, you don't want, <laughs> you don't want it to happen, but it just happens naturally because you're just an awesome person like that. Alright, Pile 1, so this was your reading on what kind of vibe do you give off? I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and until next time, I want to wish you guys nothing but good vibes. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Hi, Pile 2. So you guys chose Emily Bronte, and we're going to be starting off with what is your overall vibe that you give off. So this is the, this is the vibe that you give off to people you know, you don't know, 
this like a first impression kind of vibe this is your overall vibe and your strongest vibe that you give off when you are around people when you meet people so the overall vibe that you give is somebody that's mysterious and quiet and it's like people are always wanting to know what are you well, like what are you thinking what are you feeling you're kind of somebody that's uh, kind of hard to read as well because you're like you give off like a mysterious kind of unknown kind of vibe um, you also could be quiet too but because of this you can also it can make people feel intimidated by you because they don't they can't figure you out and it's hard to read your energy and your vibe so so overall you give off the vibe of somebody that's quiet um your facial expressions kind of give off like that you're in thought or you're thinking about something deeply um you almost kind of give the vibe off that you're unapproachable or you, like you give off like um kind of like an unapproachable vibe like it's difficult to approach you but at the same time they can't help but approach you because it's like because you're mysterious and quiet it's like they want to know what's on your mind that just intrigues them more, the fact that you're like that. So now we're going to take a look at what about your vibe attracts people to you. Alright, so right off the bat, people get surprised once they get to know you. Once they start talking to you, you know. Because um, they thought that, you know, so the vibe that you were giving off, like I said before, is like, you give off somebody that's like very unapproachable kind of cold just yeah just like a very like I don't know if I want to approach that person kind of vibe but at the same time it's like but I do want to approach that person because like what are they thinking about like it's like it makes them interested in you because it's like there's a mystery to you um so once they really get to know you they thought that you would be like that like they thought that you would be cold standoffish quiet awkward weird probably but when they got to know you you're kind of just like you're very friendly and you're very like the vibe like once they got to know you your actual vibe is like somebody that's very like go with the flow like you don't like if they're like oh you want to go do this you're like okay they say like um what do you want to have for lunch you're just like uh whatever like you're just like you know, you're easy to, you, yeah, you're easy to chill with because you just go along with, like, whatever is happening. You don't, like, you don't make a fuss about, like, if you're, you know, things are not going your way or, like, you don't, you're doing something that you don't want to do. Like, you're very just go with the flow. Like, um, yeah, you're very go with the flow, chill vibes, but you're... It's the okay. So what I'm getting is like your your vibe that you give off to strangers is different from the vibe that you give off once people actually get to know you. So it's like once yeah, so you you definitely give off two different vibes. Um not on purpose like it's not you're not doing it like on purpose. It's just how people pick up your vibe. Um as a stranger, they pick, you know, they take you as somebody that's co kind of cold, standoffish, but the, at the same time, they want, they want to know, like, more about you. And then, once they get to know you, you're somebody that's a very friendly and very carefree, very go with the flow, very fun as well. Very fun vibe, very good vibes. Uh, once they actually get to know you. Yeah, you give off the vibe of somebody that's, like, you kind of give off, like, a bougie vibe. Like, maybe you wear expensive things, or you, like, you have expensive taste in, like, just in, like, everything. Like, in food, clothing, um, 
I'm getting, like, uh, vacation spots. Like, you could be, like, yeah. Like, I feel like you're very... You like to enjoy, like, the finer things in life. But it's, like, people mistake that for you being bougie. Or, like, stuck up. Yeah, so I get... Okay. What I'm getting is, like... I get people get your vibes confused. Like, yeah, because you give off two different vibes, it's, like... That's why... He, yeah, I sorry, I keep saying it, but, like, people are surprised once they get to know you, because it's, like, a whole different vibe from what they thought, what you were giving off as a stranger, like, before knowing you. So, yeah, you, but, um, yeah, you just have good taste. Oh, <laughs> you're, okay. I mean, like, you could be kind of petty, too, like, when I said you have good taste... And I was thinking, like, you know, material things, like food, uh, wealth, um, cars, you know, things like that. Material things. Um, but the pet, like, I felt like your energy was, like, when I said you're into, you have good taste, you you were, like, you said, yeah, I have good taste in people, too. <laughs> so it was kind of, like, yeah, like, that's why I don't... I can, that's probably why you come off as, like, somebody, like, kind of stuck up or, like, standoffish as, like, a stranger's point of view is because you're kind of just, like, you don't just, yeah, what I'm getting is, like, you don't just entertain anybody, like, if they're not, if you're not feeling them, you're not gonna, like, you're not gonna open up your vibe to them to like for them to see the fun side of you you're gonna keep yeah you probably have your walls up that's probably what it is um what that's the vibe you give off to stranger strangers is you're like guarded you have your walls up it's hard to get through you like yeah <laughs> Yeah, your vibe is very fun, very free-flowing, very carefree, like, you don't mind getting down with the get-down, like, if it's some crazy stuff, like, I don't know, I get the feeling of, like, you're, yeah, you're just a lot of fun, you don't mind getting into, like, a little mischief here and there, like, it's all fun for you, like, but people don't know that about you, and you don't show that to, you don't give, you don't let people into that vibe, that fun, good vibe of yours, unless they make the effort to get to know you. You also give off the vibe of somebody that's like, um, I would say like cutthroat, like, if one of your friends or yeah i'm seeing seeing friends friends or family anybody that's close to you that you trust and you cherish like if they do anything to like um what's that word called if they do anything to like go against you do anything to harm you or you know anything negative towards you that's like very extreme like you know they do something very bad to you negative towards you whatever it is um you okay depending on who it is you'll give them a chance like one chance you'll be like okay i'll give you a pass and i'll give you one more chance if you f up again that's it like you're done. You're dead to me, like... Cut, like, cut all ties with that person. You're very cutthroat in that way. But it's like, you give them a chance, though. Like, okay, I'ma let that slide, but don't let it happen again. But I'm not saying, like, just any little thing. I'm taking, like, big, like, you know... Big situations where it's, like... Why would you do that? Like, messed up type of stuff. You have a big enough heart to give them a second chance, but you're not going to let it happen a second time. Second time is the door is closed. Throw the, like, lock it, throw the key away. You're not, no. 
you're done. You're blocked. Gone. Bye. So, like I said earlier, you're somebody that, to strangers, your vibe is very unapproachable because you have your guards up, your walls up. Um, but when somebody takes the chance to approach you and talk to you, whether it be, like, um, as friends or romantically, because the... It's like you... I feel like you know, too, like, um... I feel like over the years you were kind of wondering, like, why do people... Why is it hard for people to approach me? And I feel like over the years you've understood, like, you've understood... Um, how your personality is and the vibe you, you give off. So it's like, you know, you know you kind of come off like that. And so... Because you know you come off as somebody that's hard to approach, you you value when somebody does approach you because you know it's not hard to do. So when somebody takes the time to approach you, whether it be um, platonically or romantically, you do take the time to hear them out and get to know them and, you know... You 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 take the time to build that that friendship or relationship. You don't just you don't just treat it like whatever because you know that it takes a lot for people to approach you. Your vibe is very giving only if the other person vibes vibe is giving as well. So it's like you'll open up if they'll open up. So you match people's energy very well. Um, so if they're, if, um, how do I say it? If somebody's sad, you know how to be empathic. So that's the feeling I'm getting. You could be empathic, somebody that's very in tune with your own emotions and other people's emotions. So... When somebody's sad, you know to be comforting and be, like, sad with them. And just mourn through, mourn with them or, you know, whatever they're going through. Um, if somebody's happy, you know, like, you're happy too. Like, you know how to match people's energy. So it's like, that's why it's always fun. And always, like, people like to have you around. Once they get to know you, because because your energy is like that, you're like you're you match energy very well with um, the people around you. With the devil card here, don't let people overstep their boundaries with you. So don't let people take advantage of. Don't ever give more than what somebody is giving you. Don't let people take advantage of you. Um, also, don't let people drain your vibe. Like, if you feel like people around you are toxic or, like, the vibe around you is bad, even if it's your friends or family, like, leave that area. Leave. Leave the premises. <laughs> you know, do what you gotta do to get away from that energy because you don't want that killing your vibe, you know? So once again, you're a very fun person. You come up with like creative ideas for fun. Like, um, it's like you don't like to take charge when it comes to planning events or parties or ideas, anything like that. But when you are like, when you have to do it, or if you, if you are in charge, like whatever the case may be, um, you come up with such fun plans and such creative plans like you just have your guests thinking like what like wow like i did not expect that wow like even just like the decorations you pick out just everything like you're very detailed to the t and it's very like yeah like you just know how to put a good party together a good event together a good even if it's like a like a girls night out or like a slumber party like just something easy like that it doesn't have to be like a big event but just like even small things like even if it's just like a weekend um 
night like or like a Friday night out with your friends like oh what do you want to do like you're not like you don't do the typical thing like oh let's go to a concert let's go to the club let's go you know or let's go to the movies you do like (laughs) you you always propose like this creative creative and like out there plan or idea to your friends and like your friends are like what the heck but like somehow you talk them into it and then you guys end up like doing what it whatever it is that you guys end up doing and it's like they like at the end of the night you guys just spend the night um eating junk food and like talking about everything that happened that night and how much fun you guys had and like how creative the idea was and like they're just so so surprised because they're like whenever yeah because the stuff that you come up with they think like oh my gosh like how is this going to be fun like what the heck it's just like what the heck is the first is what they think of when you come up with your plans but they know because they've been on like one of your trips or like they've been to one of your like little parties that you put together they know that it's like it's off the hook and off the walls but it's like they know it's gonna be fun because yeah they just know it's gonna be fun because you come up with like off the hook stuff but it's fun all right pile two so that was your reading on what kind of vibe do you give off i hope you guys enjoyed this i want to wish you guys nothing but good vibes i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next video bye Hi Pile 3, so we're going to start off by seeing what your overall vibe is. So this is the vibe that you give off the strongest, and this is like the vibe that you give off most of the time. Um, This is the vibe that you give off to strangers, to people that you know, okay? So this is like your overall vibe. Um, So you guys chose Rihanna, Rihanna. So you're giving off the vibe of somebody that's very fierce, very sexy, kind of a rebel. I'm getting the, I'm getting like Instagram, Instagram baddie vibe. Oh my gosh, I feel so cringe when I try to use slang. But yeah, (laughs) Instagram baddie vibes or just baddie vibes, however it goes. Yeah, very strong, confident, and sexy vibes. Alright, pile three. Now we're going to take a look at what about your vibe is attractive to other people. So what what about your vibe draws people into you? You have a very strong fighting spirit. You're somebody that's very persistent. You never give up. The failures that you, that you went through in life only made you stronger and tougher and smarter. Like, it just... The failure was almost like a blessing. Like, all your failures were almost like a blessing to you. Because out of each failure, you took the good out of that and you, like, increased the vibration of your energy through your failures like your failures just made your vibe and your energy a lot stronger oh you give us such friendly vibes like you're such a friendly person like people love being around you you're so nice oh my gosh and it's like because you're like you're so pretty like you're you're so pretty like you're you're beautiful inside and out so it's Like, it's just so hard for people to not get attracted to you because, because of that. (laughs) Period. You know, you're beautiful inside and out. You have such a positive vibe about you. Wow, I love your vibe, Pile 3. So positive, so friendly, so nice. Like, wow. And then on top of that, like, you're sexy and you're fierce and you're confident. Like, damn. No wonder why I'm like, okay, you're a bad... Like, you get... You have, like, baddie vibes. Instagram baddie. Okay, shout out if you guys watch, um... What is that? Baddies ATL. Comment down below. Who's your favorite bad girl? 
Who's your favorite bad girl of all time? Comment down that below. And who's your favorite bad girl on that show? Baddies ACL. I haven't seen it. I've seen the trailer. It looks interesting. But yeah, you you don't give off that kind of vibe. Like not that like not like oh I will fight you. Like not a bad girls club kind of vibe. Like you're like you're like um You're like a baddie because of how, like, <laughs> you're like a baddie because you're so nice. Like, you're so nice and charming and so beautiful inside and out. It's like, that's what makes you a baddie. Damn, how many times did I see a baddie? Not only do people, like, really like your, um, really like your vibe, they also really like your voice. You may have, like, a really nice speaking voice or singing voice. Hello, Rihanna. Singing voice. Um, I get the feeling like you have a very calm kind of voice. It's like calm, kind of airy and gentle and sexy. But at the same time, you can be very, like, sharp with your words and very hurtful. Like, you. it's like you're very... Hot and cold and there's no in between when it comes to your words. You're either very loving and very kind and very, you know, all of that good stuff. But if it's some, like, you know, if you're standing, standing up against somebody or like, or if you just need to check someone, like, you check them straight to the core. Like, you don't even try, like, you <laughs> The, what I'm getting is like you you don't like to play fair with your words like no like you like to take sucker punches and like you like to hit them where it hurts like when you're mad you yeah you definitely let them know like you you definitely get them like a tongue lashing like holy crap like and then it surprises them because it's like you know you're such a nice person you're so beautiful you're so gentle so you know not knowing that if they overstep their boundaries if they you know if they try to take advantage of you any kind of way you will cut them down with your mouth you have such a strong and confident vibe and I don't think you know that you give this off. Like, I feel like you kind of are kind of just like a more of like a shy, quiet kind of person. Not quiet, but kind of like you're not like, like I don't get, what I'm getting is like you don't, you don't know, you don't see, or you don't feel what kind of, like how strong and how positive of a vibe that you give off. Like, you give off a vibe that you're, like, a super strong person. You're very positive. You're very loving. You're very caring. Um, yeah. Like, you, but you don't see, like, you don't see that and you don't feel that. You don't get that yourself. Um, the vibe that you give off to other people is different from the vibe that you give to yourself. You're very smart with your words. Um, you could be, like, very witty and funny. Um, you could be sarcastic at times. Like, I feel like that's kind of, like, you have, like, a sarcastic type of sense of humor. Um, yeah, it's like you don't know how, like, how sexy and strong and confident your vibe is and how no just not your not only your vibe but you you like you don't see that i don't think you think lowly of yourself you just don't you just don't really like pay attention to yourself like that like you don't pay attention a lot to like your looks or like how you come off to people like you are kind of just yeah, you, you don't pay attention to those things. So that's why you don't you don't know what kind of vibe you give off. But hello, you're here, so now you know. Hey. <laughs> so yes, now you know. You give off, like, sexy vibes, confident vibes, good vibes, positive vibes, high-energy vibes. Like, you're 
yeah some of you guys are like almost there to like knowing that that's you know I feel like you guys are in the process of like fully being in tune with yourself to know like what kind of vibe that you give off um but yeah if you guys don't know this is the kind of vibe you guys give off all right pile three so that was your vibe reading thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this hope you guys have a great day and until next time i want to wish you guys nothing but good vibes i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next video bye